A courtroom can be a tense environment due to the long waits, high stakes, and the presence of criminals who have sometimes committed violent crimes. It's for this reason that certain incidents have been caught on tape that show particular criminals either saying something strange or acting in a strange manner. These events can be creepy and disturbing for a number of reasons and often show the lack of remorse and empathy that these criminals possess. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are 8 terrifying courtroom moments caught on tape. Number 1 Luis Bracamontes is a convicted murderer from Mexico who shot and killed two police officers and severely injured a civilian in North California in 2014. Over the next three and a half years, a prolonged, drawn-out court case ensued that showed the public who Bracamontes was, a cold-hearted killer who consistently smiled and laughed throughout the court cases. He also pleaded not guilty in court, but would blatantly admit to killing both men on frequent occasions, also stating that he'd do it again if he were given the chance. Ladies and gentlemen, now step out of the hallway. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. In 2018, Bracamontes was given the death penalty and, unsurprisingly, he smiled, laughed, and even applauded as the decision was made. Number 2 On the 20th of February 2016, Jason Brian Dalton, a 45-year-old American Uber driver, shot and killed six people and injured two others in various areas in Kalamazoo County in Michigan. He was subsequently charged with murder, assault, and criminal firearm use two days later, and his lawyers quickly planned an insanity defense due to their client's erratic and strange behavior. This behavior was showcased and possibly exaggerated in the courtroom on numerous occasions, with the most notable occurrence happening when the first victim of Dalton's attack took the stand and told her story. She was interrupted by Dalton who began muttering incoherent sentences that didn't make sense. If people drive around and you look at them, it gets real like, hey, it's time people look, and that's when you tell people it's time to get to Temple. Yeah, you need to get to Temple because you need to get going because it's called intimidated bags. The judge called for a recess, but Dalton refused to leave and had to be dragged out of the courtroom. Since then, Dalton underwent a psychiatric evaluation and it was deemed that he was mentally competent enough to stand trial. The case is still ongoing and has been highly discussed, but it seems as if Dalton will be spending the rest of his life in jail. Number 3 Joshua Jones is an American murderer responsible for shooting and killing police officer Sandy Rogers in 2012. Soon after he was arrested, he attended a court hearing in order to get a court-appointed lawyer but showed up baring his teeth, gave short aggressive answers, and cursed out the nearby officers and the judge. Do you have the income to hire an attorney on your own? Does it look like it? I don't know, sir. I don't Damn have it. any idea. I just ask that you answer my questions. Do you want me to screen you for an attorney? No. You gonna hire your own? I don't need one. Mr. Jones, I never advise anyone to go into court regardless of a charge without an attorney. Uh, Do you want to be screened for an attorney? I don't care. Ah, Mr. Ah, ah. It's possible that Jones was on some sort of drug or was trying to convince the judge that he had some kind of mental illness in order to get a lighter sentence, but his motives are still unclear. Either way, Jones was found guilty two years later in 2014 and was charged with life in prison without the possibility of parole. The video went on to receive over 12 million views on YouTube and gave the case a lot more attention than it already had. Number 4 Michael Marin was an American financer, lawyer, and former millionaire who bought a multi-million dollar mansion in 2008, which he tried to sell again for more money. He set up a lottery scheme where individuals could buy so-called tickets and then a winner would be chosen. But because of the questionable business tactics involved with this move, the local state authorities shut down the scheme on the 4th of July 2009. A day after this, 911 received a phone call from Marin telling them that his house had burned down and that he had narrowly escaped. After the fire department investigated the scene, they determined that Marin himself had started the fire and he was charged and arrested for arson. 
When Michael heard the guilty verdict in the courtroom, a clip of his reaction can be seen and we can see him swallowing something and then drinking from a bottle of water. This turned out to be a cyanide pill and Michael died 15 minutes later. He was said to be an extraordinary man who traveled all over the world, spoke fluent Japanese, and climbed to the peak of Mount Everest. Many of his friends and family said that Michael probably never intended to serve a sentence over a decade long, and more than likely always had this prepared just in case. Number 5. Anthony Tolson was a popular bassist from Detroit who was shot and killed by two men on Christmas Eve 2015. The perpetrators were two men, aged 19 and 33, and were given life in prison with no chance of parole. Before this, the two men made numerous appearances in court and one of the assailants, Darnell Young, was captured on camera mouthing what seemed to be threats at one of the witnesses. He also was heard cursing out and trying to intimidate the witness while staring at them aggressively. The judge stopped the testimony and paused the courtroom session in order to give Young a warning. Luckily, the witness was able to finish their testimony, which helped put both of the killers behind bars. Number 6 on the 27th of February 2012, a 17-year-old known as TJ Lane shot and injured six people at Chardon High School, Ohio. Over the next two days, three of the injured victims had died, and Lane was arrested and eventually charged with three counts of aggravated murder, two counts of attempted murder, and one count of assault. He was tried as an adult and given three back-to-back -back life sentences with no parole for his crimes. He showed up to the sentencing wearing a t-shirt that said the word killer on it and consistently taunted the victim's families. He also made obscene statements towards them and smiled and laughed throughout the court proceedings. Today, Lane is currently in a maximum security prison and will never be released. Number 7 Michelle Blair was a mother who killed two of her children sometime between 2012 and 2013 and proceeded to place their bodies in a freezer. She allegedly did this because the two children, aged 9 and 13, had apparently sexually assaulted her other children. For the next two or so years, a lengthy legal battle ensued that contained disturbing reports, outbursts, and testimonies. One of these happened when one of Blair's surviving children detailed the kind of abuse that he went through and the kind of treatment her other children were given. Blair responded aggressively and cursed out her child. Eventually, Blair was dragged out of the room and right before she exited the premises, she admitted to her crime. What the evidence will show is what these children instead endured, what they lived through. Words such as torture, terror. Not only did he not abandon and desert his children, but he saw them routinely. The evidence will prove that he did not. Never been in there full of kids. He did. She was always on sex sites though, right? Well, this is a civil case. It's not a criminal case. We can and we will do I it did. without you. I never we tried to say I didn't. I did it. But that is not the gates of the fact that they were never there for their children. Big mother... Everybody want to know? Yes, I did! Get on! Blair went on to state that she had no remorse for her actions because of what her children did to her other kids, but stated that she never intended to actually kill her children. She was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Number 8 Nico Jenkins was an American spree killer who murdered four people in a 10-day span between the 11th and 21st of August 2013. In September of that year, he confessed to all four murders and decided to defend himself in court. He tried to convince the judge that he had committed these crimes as a sacrifice to the Egyptian god Apophis. This argument obviously fell flat and in the months that Jenkins defended himself, his courtroom antics consisted of howling, rambling and laughing as the murders were recounted in court. He would also show up to court with fresh cuts on his face, indicating that he had inflicted these injuries on himself while in jail. After all of the antics, controversy, and court appearances, Jenkins was eventually sentenced to death in May of 2017. Inside the courtroom, it seemed like Nico Jenkins ran the show. Soviet resurrection. Russia did care. Yelling something about a socialist revolution at our cameras, and during his hearing, yelling over Judge Peter Battalion, quote, let me talk, Your Honor, you're violating my human rights. Even calling Judge Battalion prejudice, the same judge that'll oversee his trial in the absence of a jury. 
And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. I try and make similar videos to this one every single week. So if you want to subscribe for that, you can. All of my social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, which are all Deberk321, will be linked down below. But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time.